When people think of Jurassic Park Trespasser, most conjure up ideas of a buggy, rotten game that was more frustrating than fun. For a time, Trespasser even became synonymous with failure, vying with John Romero's Daikatana for the position of worst game ever. But this was not always the case. Trespasser had the potential to be revolutionary. The development team tried things that no one had ever done before. They gambled and lost, but Trespasser remains a cornerstone of physics-based games. The Half-Life 2 development team has even stated that they were greatly influenced by the work done on Trespasser. So how did a game with so much potential manage to fail so completely? To understand, we need to go back to the beginning. In 1996, during the production of the second Jurassic Park film, The Lost World, a small team of game designers at DreamWorks Interactive had a huge plan for building the most realistic and enjoyable game ever created. What they had in mind was a game in which you, the player, could have complete freedom and interact with an enormously detailed and realistic world. Steven Spielberg himself would bring his ideas into the game and try to make the world as close to the one of the movie as possible. The programmers would do their part and try to implement not only a very detailed graphics engine, but also a brand new physics engine which would work on any object in the game. Or at least that was the idea. Once they had their main ideas together, they simply drew a few concept art images and presented their work at E3. Not only were their ideas excellent, but their graphics engine was so revolutionary that people were completely overwhelmed by it. One of the reasons was there were no other engines even close to this one. The Quake 1 engine was the newest one at the time, and it didn't feature big outdoor environments like the Trespasser engine did. Time passed, and magazines began interviewing actual game designers. This resulted in more and more game secrets being made public. Thus, the programmers had to implement extra features into the game, and the team ran itself into a creative corner. Not only were there too many features on the to-do list, but they were now running out of time. The game had been in production for over two years at this point, and the game developers were still fighting critical problems. For example, the physics engine would bug out often during gameplay and would slow the entire game down to the point of crashing. Long story short, the developers were forced to release the game half-stable and sell it as it was, intending to improve the issues later on with patches. In order to make the game stable, DreamWorks had to disallow dinosaurs entering buildings, otherwise they would get stuck in the doors and walls, exclude several dinosaur activities, such as allowing them to jump attack, and to cut out an entire level simply because the puzzles were unplayable. At this point, people were still awaiting one of the best games ever created, so when DreamWorks Interactive released Trespasser in 1998 and sent the first few beta copies away to game magazines, it was not the game the public expected. DreamWorks couldn't live up to the promises they made early on, and the game engine they released was simply too much for computers at the time. Trespasser received terrible reviews across the board, some magazines even calling it the worst game ever made. The patch was released after a few weeks, but by then the damage was done. No one wanted a buggy game like Trespasser, and interest was growing in a new game with a physics engine, Half-Life. Trespasser only sold 50,000 copies during its several year production run. It's not likely the game will ever be resurrected, but a collection of fans at Trescom continue to produce content like new levels, dinosaurs, patches, and game tweaks. We'll be running their ATX2 gameplay mod during this Let's Play in order to smooth out some of the bumps. And so, the time has come for you to see for yourselves the rise and fall of Jurassic Park Trespasser. Let's take a look. 